Okay, as the title of this video suggests, we are going to be making a graphic that is full of stars in Python. And uh, you'll, you'll notice that these stars are going to be somewhat randomly sized and randomly placed throughout the graphic. Okay, I'm going to be using Python 2, but this code is exactly the same in Python 3. If you already have that installed, you can use that. If you don't have any version of Python installed, you can get it by visiting python.org. Download and install it. I'm using a Mac, but again, it will work the same on a Windows computer. Okay, with that preamble, I think we're ready to get started. So to get started, what we're going to need to do is launch Idle, which is the integrated development environment that comes installed with Python. I'm going to use the Spotlight search and type Idle to go and find it. If you're on a Windows computer, we'll just use the search box to find it. Okay, so then I just double click to start it. And what you're looking at here is the uh, interactive shell. We're not going to use that, but if you wanted to write small bits of code and see them, uh, see, see their output, uh, this is where you would do it. Okay, I'm not going to use it that way. What I'm going to do is go to the file menu and select new file so I can write a complete program. Okay, so the the program relies on a, a graphics module called Turtle, and to get started, then I'm going to go ahead and import that module. All right, and as noted, uh, the stars are randomly placed and sized in the window. To do that, I'm going to need the random module. All right, so both these things will help extend the capabilities of Python. All right. Once we've imported stuff, I'm going to go ahead and start with the logic of the program. The first thing I'm going to do is set up a list. All right, so a list is a storage mechanism in Python, and it, and it uses the square brackets. I want to set up a list of names, all right, for colors. Okay, I'm just going to sort of unimaginatively use the colors of the rainbow here but you can use whatever colors you like, as few or as many as you like. And every time we draw a star, we will start by choosing its color. Okay, so a couple more. I guess I'll add maybe white in there and uh, gray just for some uh, diversity. Okay, so there's our list of colors. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to make a variable to store an instance of the pen object from turtle in, and that's going to save me from having to write this code every time I reference uh, something that I want to do to the object. Okay. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do then is refer to it and set its speed. All right, and strangely enough, in turtle, speed zero is the fastest it can go. So we're going to draw these stars, and we're going to draw them as fast as turtle can. Okay. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is take a look at the window all right, in Turtle. And I'm going to set its background color to be black. All right, this will make it appear uh, a little more interesting. All right, so uh, better than a white background. That's the default. Okay. All right, so with that sort of uh, preliminary stuff done, we're ready to step into... Uh, the part of the program that we'll want to repeat a number of times to get a number of stars uh, drawn on the screen. Okay, so I'm going to use this for loop and I'm going to use a range. All right, so we're going to do the same thing and I've just sort of arbitrarily decided that I'll do it 50 times. You can, you can play with this number uh, to draw as many stars as you want. Okay. All right, so we're going to do this 50 times, all right? And if you've done any other programming, you'll, you'll maybe recall that a lot of programming languages have some kind of punctuation, like a semicolon at the end of the, of the lines. Python doesn't do that, okay? Uh, what it does do, though, in a, in a block or in a, in a part of the code, like a loop, all right, it identifies a block of code and it indents it. That's how it, in, it decides what's in this for loop. So instead of using punctuation like brackets or parentheses or something, it just uses indent. So it's very important that the indents are all the same. Otherwise, it gets confused and it starts throwing errors. 
Okay. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is set a variable to store uh, uh, where the where the uh, star will start to draw. So I'm going to set actually two variables, x and y. All right, and I'm going to use, again, uh, this random module to do that so it happens randomly. All right, and I'm going to use a function within that called rand range. Okay, and I can either just type in a range between which uh, I want this, this thing to happen all right, but instead I'm going to use the dimensions of the turtle window itself. Okay, so this will allow you to resize the window and still have uh, it get full. Okay, all right, so uh, interestingly, if you start turtle, uh, the cursor will start right in the middle of the screen, and uh, the developers of turtle decided that that is coordinate zero zero. All right, so a lot of a lot of things, uh, a lot of times in programming, the upper left corner is zero zero, but in turtle, uh, it's the middle. All right, so what I'm going to do is set a variable. All right, so that the the cursor can start somewhere on the x-axis between. Uh, halfway to the left and halfway to the right of the center. All right, so I'm going to do that using this window width, and I'm going to divide it by two. All right, so that's the uh, the lower uh, limit of of where the cursor can start, and then here is the upper limit. Oops, I forgot the parentheses on the first one. All right, so that's super important, else it won't work. Okay, and uh, we're going to set a Y too, but since the Y is essentially the same thing, so this is the horizontal, the Y is the vertical, all right, what I'm going to do is select this line of code, copy and paste it, and then just change the name of the variable from X to Y. So here I am, copy, okay, press enter, paste, okay, change X to Y. All right, so now we have... Uh, started off by uh, randomly, as we enter this loop, figuring out where uh, the star will start to be drawn. Okay. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is set a size. So I'm going to have a variable called size, and in that I'm going to store uh, a random number. All right, and this time it's going to be a random integer. And I'm just going to sort of arbitrarily almost decide that, well, it should be between 10 and 75. Again, you can play with these numbers if you want bigger stars, right? You would make the 75 bigger. If you want to see smaller ones, uh, you can make that number smaller. Okay, uh, the next thing we're going to do is set a color. And the color is going to be based on a random choice. All right, and the random choice is going to come from that list of colors that I made uh, at the beginning. Okay, so we're getting there. All right, the next thing we're going to do is uh, tell Turtle to lift up its pen. All right, because otherwise when I try to move to this X and Y, it's going to draw a line. All right, then I'd have a lot of lines around my screen uh, of various different colors um, that, that I don't really want. All right, so I tell it to pick up the pen, then I tell it to set the position. All right, and I'm going to use that X and Y here. Okay, and then I'm going to tell it to turn left, all right, some random number, all right, and this is just going to be so that when every star starts drawing, it will start sort of from a different angle, otherwise they will, uh, it, it will look less random, all right, all the stars would start exactly uh, on the same axis, all right, so uh, again, I'm going to use the rand int to do this. And uh, I'm going to be somewhere around a circle, so somewhere around a circle every time I start to draw. Okay. All right, next thing we're going to do is go ahead and use the color. So we're going to set the color. All right, so I'm going to t.color, color that we've chosen already. Okay. And then I'm going to tell it to fill in the star after it's done drawing. All right, so this is the way uh, I do that. If I don't tell it to do this, we'll just get outlines of stars, and we want stars that are colored in, or maybe you don't, and if you don't, you can leave out this line of code. Okay, and now I'm going to tell it to put its pen down because we're really ready to start 
writing a star or drawing a star. Okay, and uh, let me just add a bunch of lines of code here, or a bunch of blank lines, so you can see more easily what I'm doing. Okay, and so to do this, we're actually going to do the same thing five times. I'm going to make a five-pointed star. All right, you could make any number pointed star, but I'm showing you how to do a five-pointed one. All right, and so I'm going to nest another for loop inside the one we have that tells us how many stars we're going to write. All right, so the range here is going to be five for each of the five points on the star. Okay. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is then go forward, and we're going to go forward uh, the size that we've chosen at the beginning. Okay. We're going to then turn left. All right, and I'm going to turn left 225 degrees. This is going to give us that point. All right, and then I'm going to turn left again. Oh, sorry, no, I'm not. I'm going to turn and go forward, and I'm going to go forward that size again. Okay. All right, and then once I'm done, those three lines of code give me a point on the star, and then I'm going to turn left 63 degrees so that uh, I can start drawing the next star. All right, so if I do this five times, okay, I will have a perfect star. All right, and uh, the degrees, right, some, the uh, the 225s just sort of gives us a nice pointed, pointed star. All right, you can play around with uh, these uh, degrees as well um, as the other numbers that I've mentioned. Um, so you'll notice if you do the math here, if I went 5 times 225 plus 5 times 63, all right, if I divide that by 360, right, which is going around a circle, uh, I will have gone around a circle four times. And it turns out that, yeah, you kind of need to do that in order to draw a star uh, with turtle. Okay, so if I sort of monkey around with the numbers a little bit, right, I could reduce this and make a less sharp point. All right, but if I reduce that, I'm going to have to increase this. Okay, all right, so again, uh, once you get this thing running, uh, you can play around with uh, making it work differently. All right, all right, so we've drawn our star. All right, we're now ready to sort of, I'm going to have to get back out at the same level of code, and uh, I'm ready to end my fill. Okay, and uh, you know, that's all there is to it. All right, that's the whole program there. The only thing that's going to be left to do is to save and run this to test to make sure I didn't make any mistakes all right, in the code. All right, so I'm going to go File and Save. Okay, and I'm just going to save mine on the desktop. You can save it wherever you like. Okay, and I'm going to name it up here, so it's going to be full of stars. All right, and it has to end with this dot pi. Okay, so I hit save. All right, just one more thing before we test the code. I'm going to make this window, the interactive shell window, a lot narrower so it doesn't kind of interfere with, with where the window, uh, the turtle graphic shows up, which will be somewhere in here. Okay, all right, and then I'm just going to go to the Run menu and Run Module. And so, there we have it. My God, it's full of stars. Thanks for watching.